Hello everyone. Today we're gonna make Japanese ginger salad dressing. And you're gonna love this and it's gonna become a staple in your household. My name is Chris. I'm a diabetes nurse practitioner. I wanna welcome you to my plant-based kitchen where we're gonna try to make everything healthier so we can live longer. So today folks, we're gonna do a Japanese ginger dressing. I like this dressing for the main reason that there's a lot of ingredients in here that is really good for our gut microbiome. And it's also a superfood, so a lot of these spices that I'm gonna put in, as well as the vegetables that we're gonna eat here, is gonna be cancer-fighting, is packed with antioxidants, and it fights inflammation. So these are anti-inflammatory foods. So if you come closer here, let me show you, I have my salad ready actually for the dressing there, but let's focus on what we have here. We have one fourth of an onion there that we're gonna put in the blender. All of these things go into the blender. Two cloves of garlic, about one small apple, about one fourth of a cup of pickled ginger. If you have fresh ginger, use them. I have one fourth of a cup of water here, about a tablespoon of maple syrup to kind of tie in a little bit of sweetness with our uh, salad dressing. I also have uh, rice vinegar here. This is uh, sesame tahini or sesame paste. This one is miso paste, so that's about a tablespoon of each one. We have about a teaspoon here of uh, Bragg's amino and a cup of uh, some neutral oil, and this one happens to be avocado oil. And I have lemon juice there too because we wanna freshen up our salad dressing. So let us begin so let me grab my spoon here we're going to dump all of these ingredients in here starting with our ginger and our apple the apple's really nice not only does it have a lot of fiber in it and other nutrients but it also provides a little bit of fresh sweetness into our salad dressing there goes the onion and your two cloves of garlic and then the next thing we're going to do is put our little bit of water it just kind of thins out the salad dressing so it's not too thick we have a little bit of maple syrup here. I like using maple syrup. It is uh, from a natural source and it's very little, so it shouldn't push up blood sugars very much. And then we have the rice vinegar here. I love using it for a lot of Asian dishes and salad dressings, as a matter of fact. Now, as a source of salt here, I'm gonna use the miso paste. This is fermented. And so really good for our gut microbiome there. And then to kind of like create that creamy texture, we're putting in your sesame tahini. And sesame tahini is really just made of like oil and sesame seeds, or sometimes plainly just sesame seeds by itself. Okay, let me pour the Bragg's amino. If you don't have Bragg's amino, you can always use soy sauce in there. It's practically the same. I'm gonna squeeze in all of our lemon juice here. I like the freshness of the lemon juice or lime juice. And so whichever one you have, this is only about like a tablespoon to two tablespoons. So it shouldn't make a huge dent in your salad dressing, but it provides the vitamin C and that fresh uh, tart flavor that you get with your salad dressing. Go, and we have about a cup of a neutral oil. In this case, I only have avocado oil and olive oil here in the house. So that's what we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do here is blend this until it's very smooth. So let me show you, it doesn't take very long. Put that in here on my trusty, I think this is like a 12 year old uh, Vitamix here that I have, but it's still working, so I keep using it. Okay. Our salad dressing is done. I have actually tasted this already. And you can store these in bottles. I'm going to the park. Um, we're gonna have a picnic for my niece's birthday. She's turning three today. So we're gonna have salad at the park. And this is pretty much how I do it. Just put it in bottles like this. It's easier to pour, especially when you're out and about. Okay, and that's how far as I'm gonna fill this one up. And as you let it stand, the flavors actually meld a little bit better. So in about a couple of hours, all of this flavor should be together. And so we made like a bottle and a half here. Okay. So I'm gonna let it drip there. Let me show you what I have done to the salad here. 
Now, the greens are pretty easy to actually do. Let me grab this thing. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done. I poured the salad dressing on there. So in this particular salad, I want everything to be soft. And when you stick your fork in it, everything can be captured. So what I did with this, the cucumber here is that I peeled it off. And pretty much what you do is that you use the peeler to kind of create the thin slices of the cucumber. So you can see that. And that's what I spread around here so that you could, your cucumber stay soft and really, really nice. Let me show you what I did with the carrots here. So the same idea, pretty much, is using the peeler and you have nice carrots in here with that sweetness and beta carotene that you have. That's so pretty. And my neighbor has a lot of avocados lately and I've been very blessed, he's given me a lot. So I have uh, put avocados on top. I even put some uh, seaweed salad on there. It's really nice. The sweetness of it kind of combined with the rest of the greens is really nice. The bottom of this is just regular greens as well as baby kale. So you really get that uh, packed nutrition in one bowl of salad. So guys, I hope that you try and make this at home. This. Japanese ginger salad dressing is uh, really to die for. And you can use it for different salads that uh, you make at home. Thank you for joining me today and I hope that you join us again on our next video.